Customs Officer. Mr. Customs Officer, will you please listen to me? I'm travelling from Montevideo to Monte Carlo with my celebrated international opera company. My name is Rosé. Alphonse Rosé. Would you please pass me through? Hey! Look out! I see by the intelligent look on your face that I mean nothing in your life. Possibly you have never even heard of me. There are still people in remote parts that have never seen a motor car. No hable tanto y abrame las cars. I beg your pardon? No hable tanto y abrame las cars. All right, I'll explain it all over again. We are travelling from Montevideo to Monte Carlo. Oh, civil plate, mademoiselle, civil plate. One more. We are going to Monte Carlo with my... I'm going to miss this boat. I'm going to lose my engagement in Monte Carlo. Listen, I'll give you a proposition. See me through quickly, and when I come back to South America, I'll bring you a oh, great speech. Amen. Oh, ah, look, my company, Valetti Soprano, Wolfram, hey, Wolfram, Baritone, Batista, Coloratura, and now the apple of my eye. Zinzeman, Bart. Sit down. Where's Mario? Where is Mario? My name is Zinzeman, Bart. Mario! Oh, um. Mario! Mario, here I am. <laughs> so there you are. Here. Oh, your color again. One breath of that sea air and goodbye to your epiglottis. Someone wants to meet you. Hmm? <laughs> my tenor, who has stood between me and an empty stomach for two years. In other words, my meal ticket. And he's been on a diet for three months. Captain. Get me up. Uh, my costume. <laughs> and my orchestra. 84 musicians, always the same performance, never a sour note. The glass is a son estos. Oh, yes, uh, they're imitation, paste. <laughs> we are opera singers. Oh, I seem to have mentioned that before. Opera, hurra not, Oscar, Raviar. <laughs> Boheme, butterfly, the barber. <laughs> Soldiers and gypsies. Yes, matadors, bandits. <laughs> Bandito, what? Bandito! No, don't get excited, it's all right. I can explain everything. Oh, the boat, I've got to make him understand. Yeah, everybody, quickly. Come on, Valetti, Valetti, please. Everybody, quick. We've got the proof of this lock-headed old dock soldier that we're opera singers, not a band of paid assassins. Come on, come on. On the saggezza chiude si nel gaudio e nell'amore La bella no candida, scherzate voi, signore. No, no, non brucia, abbracci, e brucia, amore ardente. Signore, ti prende, ti piace canzonare. Non no, ti posso sposare, se vuoi la parola. Amabile figliola, e non ti basta ancora. Ti le canta parola, la mai la canta.
Your name, please? Uh, Heinrich Linsemann, Basso Profundo. Oh, this way, sir. Mr. Del Monte? Yes. In here, sir. Thank you. Mr. Rosie? Uh, we don't sleep free in a bed. No, sir. You have a cabin to yourself. This way, please. I can't sleep in that cabin. They have this magnificent ship, thousands of cabins, and they have to pick for me number 13. <laughs> yes, sir. Director, I have a suggestion. You sleep with Linzerman, I take number 13. I am not superstitious. Does the gazelle lie down with the elephant? Well, make up your mind. All right, the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Come out. You won't give me away. We'll have to talk about that, young lady. Come on out. No, no. It's all right, it's all right. I won't bite you. You can't be a stowaway. You are much too little. Did you find anybody? No, sir. Then go on searching. Very good, sir. Sorry to disturb you, sir. Have you got a young lady in there? Meaning me? <laughs> They're looking for me. Come in. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Are you alone? Yes. Why? I thought I heard voices. Naturally. I was rehearsing. But I distinctly heard a woman's voice. I was taking both parts. Oh. I am very versatile. Listen. Courage, beloved Juliet, I am here to protect you. Now, look here, Mr. Del Monte, this is not a joking matter. No, no. I'm afraid I should have to search the cabin. Please, an excellent idea. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Hmm. Well, she's not there. Marta, Marta, I conjure thee, leave me not to alone this well, I'm sorry, sir. You are very welcome, sir. <laughs> Thirteen was always my lucky number. I think. I'd better give myself up, after all. No. Please, sit down. I am quite harmless. Now tell me all about yourself. Where do you come from? Hungary. My favorite country. How did you get to South America? A man engaged me as his secretary. But I soon found out that what he really wanted... Wasn't a secretary. Yes. So I ran away. He followed me and I was frightened. I had to get away somehow. So I slipped on board and hid in here. Poor child. But I'm afraid they'll put me ashore at the next port. Nothing of the sort. I'll get you a ticket. Hey, hey! What's the matter? That's my bunk. You sleep on top. As your basso, I sleep below. <laughs> As your manager and conductor, I sleep below. I refuse to lure myself by sleeping on top. Nevertheless, you will do as I say. I sleep below. I sleep below. 
I sleep below. I sleep below. I sleep below. I order you to sleep on top. <clears throat> All right. But you will be sorry for this. Pleasant dreams. Good night. Ooh! Help! Help! Now, it's time for bed. For bed? You can have these. Yes, but... What's the matter? I was only wondering about you. Oh, I have plenty of others. No, it's not that exactly. I mean, where will you sleep? Don't worry about me. I will be all right. No, no. I can't let you do all this for me. Do you want me to send for the purser? All right. That's better. Good night. Uh, Carla. Carla. Good night. Mario. Mario. <laughs> Going, sir? I must give immediately a concert. Hey, what's up? I said I'm going to give a charity concert for a friend of mine, captain. I'm not a captain. I must ask you to go down on your deck again. I am sorry, Admiral, but I've made up my mind to sing, and nothing can stop me. Hey, stop. Stop. Hello, boys. <laughs> You're not allowed to sing here. <laughs> no. See the gentleman down to the third class. <laughs> Money for this stowaway! So I am going to 
sing a song for it. Ah. Captain, I, uh, I... Well, that's a great surprise for our guests. You've certainly done that fine. collection for the stowaway. Oh, Come on, please. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Many thanks. Thanks. Very many thanks. 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 Nice. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Very nice. Thank you. One first class ticket, please. Very well, sir. Very well. And what name, please? Carla... Carla... Smith.
Stuart, would you mind opening this door for me? Certainly, sir. Allow me. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> My tenor's in there. La -da -la 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 -da -da -ha. Thank you. Oh, but, sir, that's somebody else's. I know. I'll attend to it. <laughs> Mario, can't you hear me? <laughs> Come on, get up. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning. The sun's shining. The seagulls are singing. The fish are swimming. Oh, wake up. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I beg your pardon. Must be some mistake. I, I've never honoured honestly before. You see, I thought this was number 13. It is number 13. What are you doing here? You're the starway. I was. But now I am a fully fled passenger. But this is Mario's cabin. I know. Ah, I'm beginning to understand. Young lady, will you kindly remove yourself? Why? I'm Mario's manager, and I don't allow him to entertain young ladies in his cabin. Why not? Well, it's not good. Anyway, it's not in his contract. Mr. Rosé? Uh, uh, Mr. Rosé? Uh, that, that's me. A mark on a gram from Monte Carlo, sir. Uh, Monte Carlo? Thanks. One moment. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Hello. We're extending my curry gram. Yes, sir. Good. But this is terrible. Terrible. It was as good as settled. Director, are you there? No. <laughs> yes. Dear Marconi Graham? Oh, bad news. Bad news? <laughs> it's from Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo? Yeah, south of France. Well, go on, go on. The town's on fire. Enormous advance bookings. Never in the history of Monte Carlo has there been such enthusiasm shown to an opera company before. Uh, people are flocking to see us from all parts of the country. <laughs> Sold out for the first week. Hurra! Hurra! <laughs> Hurra! Why did you lie to him? How did you know? Oh. But why didn't you speak the truth? Because they would have broken their hearts. They were looking forward to Monte Carlo like, like children to a pantomime. It was our last hope and now it's all gone. But surely there's a chance. No. Monte Carlo's playing safe. The same old stars in the same old shows. They've got no use for us. We've committed the unforgivable sin of being young. All we can do now is to grow old as rapidly as possible. I can just see us in a few years, creaking with rheumatism. Huh. No teeth, no upper register, one foot in the grave, but rich, famous, and too old to enjoy it. We're finished. Boys, boys, colossal, colossal, Monte Carlo sold out. Sold out! <laughs> If only they could hear him sing. Well, make them. That's a great idea. It's as good as done. I'll make them. Now, picture to yourself. The director over there, me at the piano here, and he... We're sunk. What's the matter? We haven't even enough money to pay the hotel bill. Wait a moment. Don't you carry a purse? Here's enough to pay your bills for a day or two. Oh, I couldn't accept money from a lady. Oh. <laughs> but as you insist, <laughs> you're an angel. And I only hope that one day, you'll see your money back again. <clears throat> but don't bank on it. Mario! 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 Colossal! Colossal! Monte Carlo sold out! What? Sold out? Yes! yes. <laughs> Carla, Carla, you've brought us luck. We've had marvelous news from Monte Carlo. How wonderful. I'm so glad. From now on, you are our mascot. We can't afford to let you go until our premiere in Monte Carlo.
morning, Mr. Arvell. What's that? Oh, good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Arvell. Uh, good morning. Send Fabier to me. I'm here, sir. What? Uh, <laughs> oh, yes, uh, th thanks. I understood you weren't coming in this morning, sir. Oh, that reminds me. Something extremely important. That's why I called. Yes, sir? Uh, now, what was it? Um, Artist salaries. No. Uh, uh, the Cavallini contract. No. Uh, was it... Uh, no. Uh, I've got it. I have a luncheon engagement with... Uh, uh, with... Um, <laughs> Dark or fair? Uh, blonde. De de definitely blonde. Christine. No, 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 petite. Uh, big blue eyes, uh, long lashes. Margot. Margot. <laughs> of course. Uh, here, you, you can read those. I must be off. I'm late already. Oh, uh, now what was it? Uh, of course. That's what I came here to ask you. Where did I arrange to meet her? Margot. That would be Oysters and Chablis. Inevitably. Spinelli's. The corner table. Spinelli's, of course. <laughs> well, look, I must rush. Mr. Arvell? Yeah? Your hat and stick. Uh, I, I, I know, I know. Oh, by the way, sir, uh, Mr. Rosé is in Monte Carlo with his company. Rosé? Rosé? We decided not to take up the option, if you remember. Oh, but I can't be bothered with that now, Favier. I, I came here on urgent business. Quite so. Uh, if he calls, tell him there's nothing doing. Absolutely nothing. Children, the scene of our future triumphs. Touch wood. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh, and if anything else crops up, you can get me at, uh, at, um, Pinelli's. Well, I told you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> excuse me. Could you tell me where the director's office is? Certainly. Straight ahead, top of the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> the director? Oh, that's me. Uh, well, 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 one moment, please. Uh, what do you want to see him about? Oh, I'm afraid that's between Mr. Arvell and myself. Uh, quite, quite. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You, come here. Sir. You don't know that young lady, do you? No, sir. Charming, don't you think? I feel certain she's come here to see me. Yes, sir. Yes, but I'm not in my office, am I? No, sir. Well, that's extremely awkward. Yes, sir. I suppose I mustn't disappoint her. No, sir. You may go. Toto! Well, oh, Toto, you wretch! You kept me waiting for hours! Margot, my dear. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, you know. It's my secretary's fault. Uh, he, he always forgets. <laughs> Boy? Give my card to Director Arvo with my compliments. Yes, sir. Oh, and by the way, is there a piano in there? Certainly, sir. Upright or grand? Grand, sir. Grand. In you go. Do you want me to sing? <laughs> no, no. Uh, this is just a formal visit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as one impresario to another. <laughs> uh, by the way, did you gargle this morning? Why? Yes, why, sir? Wait here for me, children. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, good morning. Rosé. <laughs> uh, good morning. I'm afraid there's some mistake, Mr. Rose. No mistake at all, and I don't apologize. Yes, but we decided not to take up the option on your services. Uh, surely you were informed. Oh, yes, but for your own sake, my dear director, I am happy to overlook it. Yes, now, I've got I don't to show you. Now, come over here. Come on. Yes, of course, I must admit that I was rather put out when I first got your message. I even thought of suing you, and then my better nature prevailed. Yes, Mr. Would you mind helping me off these things on the piano? Yes, Thanks so much. Now, wait till you hear Mario sing, and then you'll thank me. Yes, ah, sir, I... what a voice that man has. <laughs> his high notes, his low notes. What tone, what depth. And his mecha voce is stealing into your heart like a soft breeze over the Mediterranean. Yes, well, of course, I can't do it properly, but you know what I mean. Now, Mr. Rosie, I know exactly what you're thinking. Why am I talking here when I've got the teller out there ready to sing for you? You're quite right. Mario! One moment. Mario! Mario! Ma here, come on in. Come on in. What for? Not bad. You go in. Come on, come on. Oh, this is our good chance. Now, this is Mr. Arvel, the director. Mr. Arvel has insisted on hearing you sing, and Mario will be delighted to do so. But I have it very nice of you, Mr. Director. Will you listen to me? No, you must listen to him. Uh, well, have it your own way. Sorry. 
Sorry, oh, marvellous. You've never sung better than that. Now, off you go and have a good time. I'm going to talk business to the director. Goodbye, Mr. You Mr. supply the voice, I'm going to supply the brains. And trust your uncle to get some money in advance. Stop you off advances. All right, what all about right. my... Have a good time, children. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. In all my experience, I've never heard better. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now, can he sing? Oh, yes. And will he sing? Oh, no. My dear director, I'm not the director. I'm only his secretary. You mean... I tried to explain, but you wouldn't let me get a word in edgeways. Not the director. Where are you taking me? I'm going to buy you a dress for our first performance at the opera. But Mario, it's too expensive. Leave that to me. All you have to do is to sit in the front row and look beautiful. Come. <laughs> you don't know what this means. If you won't help us, I'm bankrupt. My dear sir, if we were to help every theatrical company that was going bankrupt, besides all our contracts are signed. <coughs> contracts? We've engaged a cast of well-established stars at enormous expense. Who wants well-established stars? Almost everybody. Can't you give youth a chance? This is an opera syndicate, not a kindergarten. I see. And this piece of gothic structure? Is she your prima donna? For the last 30 years. She has her public. She also has a great grandson who's in the chorus of Cotton Garden. I see no point in prolonging this discussion. I quite agree with you. I'm wasting my time. And mine. I thought this was an opera syndicate, not a home for the decayed gentlewomen. Good day. Goodbye. My bath chair will always be at your disposal. The director was delighted with Mario singing. It's almost certain that Rosé will get the contract now. Almost, but I thought it was certain. Yes, it was, but now it really is. Oh. Come in. The gentleman from number five would like the lady from number seven to come down to the ballroom. All right, I'll come. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> -la 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 -la, -la -la -la. Ah, good afternoon, madam. You are just in time for the concert. Mr. Mario Del Monte, the new tenor of the Monte Carlo Opera, is singing himself. This way, please. You are Mr. Del Monte's charge d'affaires? Only temporarily. Program, madam? Thank you. You know the tenor personally? Slightly. He's quite a pleasant young man. They're beginning to whisper things about him. Really? Yes. They say he has fallen in love with a little Hungarian. Hungarian? Yes. How romantic. Oh, very. He met her on the boat coming over. But he didn't say anything to me about it. I am told he's very shy. Perhaps. If she encouraged him? Oh, if she only would. Oh, the tenor is coming. Excuse me. Please, Mr. Del Monte. <coughs> me, 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 me. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Ah, no, no. Madam, today marks the most important occasion in my life. Although the number of my audience is somewhat limited, I value her appreciation more than the applause of the whole world. And now I have something very special to tell you. Not with words, not with flowers, with a song. I 
Any sign of the director? Oh, no. He's probably in the casino gambling with our advance. If we don't get some money pretty soon, we shall have to sleep out on the beach. You know, I have a feeling there's some good news on the way. Come in. What's wrong? What on earth's the matter? Everything. I'm finished. I'm a fine one to own an opera company. Father was right. I should have been a butcher. I don't understand. The director was delighted. That wasn't the director at all. It was his secretary. And the director? He wouldn't even see me. Sit transit gloria mundi. What? We are dead and we've got to lie down. That's right. The lady must have the dress by this evening. All right, Mr. Del Monte. I can assure you the dress will be there this evening. I will see to it myself. And uh, with regard to the... Uh... You can send the bill tomorrow. Oh, of course, of course. Why spoil the pleasure of the gift with the sordid details of the price? I'll send the bill tomorrow. Charming, charming. Madame looks ravishing. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Toto? Will it do for the first night? What first night? Opera. Oh, of course, yes, the opera first night. <laughs> it's, it's a positive revelation. <laughs> you don't think it's a little, uh, too, too... Well, perhaps it might be a little, uh, more, uh, more... Oh, quite, uh, quite. Especially for the gentleman sitting behind. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I want to speak to the manager there. Certainly, madam. <laughs> so, then, don't you think... Excuse me, you're wanted. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Good afternoon, madame. Mr. Del Monte telephoned a few minutes ago. The dress will be there in an hour's time. Miss Yvonne, have this young lady's dress packed at once, please. Yes, madame. I'm afraid I shan't be able to have it after all. I beg your pardon. You see, it's a bill. A bill? Oh, don't worry about that. We'll send it on tomorrow. No, no, no. That won't do. But it's all been arranged. Mr. Del Monte doesn't know it, but he won't be in a position to pay anything. You're joking. I'm serious. Miss Yvonne, don't pack the dress. Where has the woman gone to? Toto, see if you can find her for me. Uh, which one? Oh, the manageress. Oh, yes, yes, of course, the manageress. I, I, I know, I, I know, certainly, darling. <laughs> but he definitely bought the dress. But it's impossible for him to pay. Then why did he order it? He didn't know then. He didn't know what? that the opera syndicate is in the hands of an incompetent director without the courage or the common sense to give younger people a chance. He's the one you should ask me, Farvel, not me, doddering along in the same old group and making promises he doesn't keep. Why is a man like that allowed to keep his job? What's the use of an opera director who is only interested in old women? Please, madam. He's obviously a fool through his idiotic short-sightedness. A dozen clever people are wondering where the next meal is coming from and I'll have to give up my new dress and property deposit all because of a cheap time frame theater manager who can't be further than his own silly nose. And what's more, a fellow I'm going to be to a man who's going to be a man who's to be a man who's going 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 to be a man who
I'm afraid so. Who? Arvel. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Arvel. <laughs> Arvel? That's me. Oh, but what life, what temperament, what poise, what, uh, what, what's her address? <laughs> Anyway, nothing for you to bother about. But I, but you had something to tell me. Well, no, it can wait. <laughs> yeah. Now take care of your throat. <laughs> <laughs> and go out and have a good time. Thank you. <laughs> news for you. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> Good evening, madame. You remember me, of course. Ghislaine, the dressmaker. I've been asked to deliver these to you personally. This dress, this cape, and this letter. But I cancelled the order for the dress. Don't worry. It's already been paid for. And so has the cape. But I don't understand. Why not read the letter? The director of the opera? But I've never even met him. But you were talking to him only this afternoon. I? At some length. The man in, in the shop? Yes. And you'll find him very charming. I should go. Tell him. Yes. I shall be happy too. Oh, good evening, madame. You brought the dress yourself? Yes, and I'm quite sure it'll give every satisfaction. And the bill? Oh, please don't worry about that. Good evening, madame. Good evening. Well, Carla, are you happy? Where is the dress? Can I have a look? You still want to go out then? Of course. 
Hasn't Rosé spoken to you? Yes. Why? It's nothing. Only... Only I told Rosé I was going to stay in this evening. But, Carla, it was all arranged. I was so happy about it. So was I, Mario. But I'm so tired. All this excitement. Do you mind ever so much? Don't look so tragic. There's always tomorrow. <laughs> well, now you know the truth. And you've kept it quiet until today. <laughs> I never believed it anyway. Well, what are we going to do now? I have an idea. Let's order a big dinner on credit. Uh -huh. Now, let me think, let me think. You've done quite enough thinking already. Can't you trust me a little longer? No. Oh, no. No. What's the matter? What are you all so happy about? Ask Uncle Rev Sunshine. He'll tell you. So that's why you are all so depressed? I've sung for the wrong man, but don't let that upset you. I shall sing for the right man, and I'll do it tonight. Come on. <laughs> no, it's useless. He won't listen to you. He told me to go to the devil through his secretary. Well, we won't. We'll go to the theater through his stage door. Come on. All that I do, I do for you. For now I know that you love only me. All that I own is yours alone. I found my heaven in your company. Let's bow for the day with you I see. Life was redeemed for you. My dear, you look charming. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. It's my secretary's fault. He, uh, he always forgets. <laughs> Mr. Arvel, I must tell you something straight away. I only came here to see you about something, something which I know will interest you. Uh, quite, quite. But I tell you what, first, uh, we'll have a little flutter at the table. And then, uh, we'll have a little dinner, tete a tete. And then, uh, a little talk about something which I'm sure will uh, interest you. You, uh, you like roulette? Yes, Mr. Arvel. Call me Toto. <laughs> Come along. Whom do you wish to see? Mr. Director. Mr. Arvel is out. Take no notice of him. He's merely a clerical error. Well, see for yourself. What you want? I want to sing. What, again? Yes. Where is the director? Mr. Arvel is at the casino. That settles it. Not at all. Not at all. I've sung in a police station. I've sung in a swimming pool. I've sung on a ship's mast. Why shouldn't I sing in a casino?
Margot, this is appalling. Where are you? Spinelli's, of course. It's my secretary's fault. He always forgets. <laughs> I Quick, Harry, he's singing. What's that? I say he's singing. Yes, he's singing. Quick, Harry. Uh, why? I don't know. Mad, I suppose. Come with me quickly, please. Yes, 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 I'll come. No, 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 I can't possibly come. I must tell myself we've got a conference. <laughs> I'm coming. Director <laughs> Arbel? <laughs> Director Arbel? Director Arbel? Who is that singing? I wrote... Uh... Contract. <laughs> it's a three years contract. Mario! That's all right, I'll fix it. My tenor, he's disappeared. He's the ringleader. Have you seen my tenor? I'll take you to him. Oh, I say, is it too much trouble? Oh, no, it's all a great pleasure. I'll come to the table, will you? Oh, thank you so much. I've asked everybody here, no one's taken any notes of me. If I lost that tenor, I'd never eat again. <laughs> take him away. Hey, what's this? Somebody get a policeman. <laughs> and down like that. You've been doing it all night. How can anybody sleep? She made a fool of me. Here, don't break those. We'll have to pay for them. Go away! Excuse me for disturbing you again, but... It's no good, miss. I told you last night. Regulations is regulations. Couldn't you give him a note? No. That comes under Section D. Prisoners are not allowed friends or letters till they've answered the charge. Please. No, miss. I can't be bribed. Now, don't jump to conclusions. I've just been reading a book, and in it there's a young, innocent girl from very good family. And suddenly, like that, she becomes a mother. And it's not till the last chapter that we find out that it isn't her baby at all, it belongs to a friend. Don't tell me any fairy stories, and don't you start bullying me. Hey, you! Another word out of you two, and I'll kick you from here to the promenade de Sangle. Is that, Is that a that promise? promise? It is. <laughs> Two singles, please. You've got to help me. Oh, I'd be pleased to, but how? I must speak to him. 
him. Oh, that's impossible. Unless you get arrested yourself. I do anything. Well, in the first place, yes. you must commit an offense within the meaning of the act. Yes, but what? Well, supposing you were to insult a policeman. Myself. That comes under section B. Insulting a policeman in the execution of his duty. I couldn't. You are far too nice. Oh. You could slap my face. What? Yes, section B again. Assaulting a policeman in the execution of his duty. I couldn't do that either. No? No. <gasps> Sergeant! Sergeant! This woman has assaulted me. Shall I take her into custody? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Quick. Since it appears that the weapons found on your person were harmless stage pistols, we shall release you with a severe warning. Thank you. You have this gentleman to thank for it. Very nice of you. Will you come to the opera house with me? Mr. Ravel has a contract for you to sign. Contract? <laughs> that has to do with me. Now, after our enormous success in South America, of course our fees have gone up in proportion. You can't have us for a mere song. <laughs> that does not enter into it. Mr. Ravel wants Mario alone, not the whole company. Only me? Yes. You're a singing Tosca with the great Cavallini herself. Cavallini? Mr. Ferrier, you can go to your director and tell him I refuse. He can't engage me without the others. We stand together. All for one and one for all. Goodbye, Mr. Fabrier. Yes, all for one and all or none. Goodbye, Mr. Fabrier. Um, call round sometime and have your throat cut. <laughs> oh, all right, miss, all right, all right. Wait a minute. I've never seen anyone so anxious to get into prison before. There you are. Make yourself at home. But they are not here. Aye. Where are those two from the casino? They've just been let out. Really? That's marvellous. Quick, hurry, let me out. Ah, uh, can't be done, miss. Regulations is regulations. But I can't stay here. I'm afraid you'll have to, for eight hours. Eight hours? Yes. That comes under Section C, punishments. Prisoners will be detained according to the magnitude of the offence. In other words, four hours per slap. Eight hours. No, sir, I haven't seen her since she left the hotel this morning. Didn't she leave any message? Not for you, sir. She only told me to deliver those boxes with a letter. Your key, sir? Arvel? The man she was with at the casino. The snake in the grass. So that's why she wanted me to think for him. And hmm. now, don't judge by appearances. Remember my girl in the book? I must know what it says. Open it. Thanks very much, but I've just got out of prison. <laughs> I've got to find out what's in that letter. Come in. For the director in person. Thank you. You can go. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you can go. Would you mind reading it aloud? What's this? I said, would you mind reading it aloud? Yes, but I... And don't... hurry! Y yes, in a moment. And stand, I... hurry! Y yes, y yes, at, at once, at once. Only I, I can't, uh, I can't see very well. The, the, oh, uh, the, the, Fabrier, Fabrier, come down to my office at once. The, 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 there's a crazy porter here. Fabrier, Fabrier, Fabrier! I've got to know what's in that letter. Fabrier, Fabrier! There's the, 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 Oh, Fabrier, hurry, hurry! I'm here, sir. Oh, don't interrupt me. I'm talking to Fabrier. Yes, but here I am. Oh, oh thank heaven you come. This man here, he says he's got to know what's in this letter. But, Miss Ravel, that's the tenor from the casino last night. What, the one with the revolvers? Yes. yes. Are you going to read that letter? Y yes, yes. Only I must have my monocle. My monocle. Go on, go on! Go on, go on! Uh, yeah, yeah, you read it. Uh, he'll read it. He, he reads better. Uh, better than I do. Uh, uh, but there's nothing on it. Uh, he's mad. Uh, you've got it inside out. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, dear Mr. Ravel, I'm afraid I met you last night under false pretenses. I only wanted you to hear Mario sing. If you were hoping for an adventure, you must have been disappointed. <laughs> I therefore feel I must return your gifts with grateful <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Is it too marvelous? <laughs> Is it too wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> this will be the 
the greatest idea in my wonderful career. By midnight tonight, my name will be on every tongue. Rosé, Alphonse Rosé, the man who put youth into opera. Lindemann, we are made. I believe you are right for once. Listen, both of you, we must find Carla immediately. Mario, we are singing tonight in Monte Carlo as I promised. How can I sing when I don't know what's happened to Carla? We must find her. We will we find her. I'll find her. You'll find her? Hello. Hello? Yes. Is that the porter? <laughs> now, porter, listen. I'll give you 1,000 francs. <laughs> no, I said I'll give you 500 francs if you'll find the young lady from number seven in a quarter of an hour. Where did you get the money? <laughs> I shan't pay till tomorrow. By then, we'll be rich. Mario, we are singing tonight in Monte Carlo. To Arvel? To Arvel, no. We are singing to his audience. La Tosca! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Tosca tonight! And not in an opera house, but in the open air! Hey, what's all this? Do you realize who you're holding up? Alphonse Rosé and his celebrated opera company. That's better. Get a move on. Now, ladies and gentlemen, why go and sing in a stuffy opera house? Something for nothing. Absolutely free. <laughs> roll up, roll up. Now, come on, children. Get this scene ready now, quickly. Tonight, tonight. Mario, come on, cheer up. We're finding Carla for you. <laughs> come on now, come on. Hurry up now, come on, kids. Get away. Up. Now, get set up quickly. Come on. Come on. Look, look, the people are coming. The people are coming. Oh, watch that bit of cathedral. You've nearly busted. Now, come on. Now, watch it. Don't get excited. Don't get excited. I'm not. Now, come on. Yes. Hurry up. Listen, we've got about five minutes. If we can get set in five minutes, we'll start almost at the same time as the opera does. <laughs> Good voice, Master. Uh, Excellent. Uh, it will be a triumph, I feel sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Mario, Mario. Yes. How's the voice? Not bad. Now don't forget, you've got to lift the roof off. <laughs> Give it to me. Dammi <laughs> i colori. Oh, 
There he is. I say, where are you going to? Trying to fix every day for you, sir. What's happening out there? Rose Andy's company is singing our opera. Oh, it's scandalous. It was, the letter. It's an insult to the profession. Fetch the police. I did, sir, but they've got permission. Who from? The police? Well, they didn't get it from me. But, uh, uh, on the phone. Is the house on fire? Oh, don't argue. Do as you're told. Well, what's the matter? Everything's the matter. Don't stand there. Do something. Oh, it's infamous. Scandalous. Get me the police, please. That's the it. police, please. P-O-L-E-A-S-E. -E. Oh, what are you doing? I'm trying to get them. Oh, let me talk to them. Uh, who do I want? The police. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Hello, th th this is Arbel speaking. Listen, uh, uh, outside my opera, beneath this very window. Oh, you can't see from here. Out there. I say, can you hear them? Uh, out, out there. Out here. Hello, out there. Out here. Out there. Shut up, you fool. A band of ruffians have set up their cheap scenery in the square and they're playing... Uh, uh, what are they playing? Tosca. Tosca, my opera. And when we sing, they sing. Mr. Arbel. And when we stop singing, they still sing. It's an outrage. Mr. Arbel. Oh, leave me alone. I'm talking to the police. You're talking to the air. Yes, in the air. In the open air. Listen to them. I like good music. Well, well, you're dismissed. Where are the police coming? They come out at the beginning of the third act. Oh. Se promettete di consegnarle il mio ultimo addio, esso è vostro. I found the girl, sir. I found the girl, sir. Don't tell Mario. This is the saddest part of the opera. He's got to be depressed for another 30 bars. Look miserable. Think of graveyards.
le burrasca. So you're chatting too, sir? Yes, tomorrow they're going to be my company. They're going to sing for us. I know, I know. I've got the contracts here. Good. Let's get them to sign. Come on.